Instead of designing for manufacture, you're manufacturing for design. Because you can make anything, any design, any curves, any undercuts. Because it's built in layers, it's, it's limitless. Laser centering is a powder-based thermal 3D printing manufacturing process. It uses a laser to center or melt layers of powder to grow the part. The cool thing about it is it's a layer by layer additive process and you can do very, very complex geometries that you can't do in, in traditional manufacturing techniques. Laser centering produces real parts, uh, not just prototypes. It's very, very functional. So you can actually do field testing and, and, and do functional testing on a part. It's not just a show and tell piece. We start with a CAD file and we integrate that CAD file to create two-dimensional slices. The entire build area is heated up to close to the melt point. And then there's a laser that actually heats where you want the solid part to be. The build platform drops down as each layer is grown and a new layer of powder is added on top and again the laser shoots down centering each layer to make a solid part. It's a process that's done at elevated temperature so it's done close to the melting point of that material and what that does the powder will actually fuse together and that actually creates a, a what we call a cake or a supporting structure uh, for the parts to be built in and since it's plastic it's easily brushed away and those parts can be uh, excavated like any kind of archaeology dig. Then it goes through a custom post-processing phase. This is all dependent on the customer's requirements or needs or the application. We can apply paints, dyes. There's tons of options after that part comes out of the machine. The greatest advantage of the LS technology is material of choice. So whether you need strength and flexibility or strength and rigidity, chances are we have a material in the LS process that can uh, provide the solution that you need. The sky is really the limit because people are very creative and so they're going to come up with new and novel ways to, to use those technologies. And laser centering has been the one that has led the charge.